We got the hose hooked up to the hot water supply in the house. My uh, nozzle was frozen and I tried to fix it, but it broke. So I don't have a hose nozzle. But she's getting a bath, look at that. First bath since December. What a difference already, it's blue, not silver. It's about 40 degrees out here. Oh yeah, I, did, I hit the trash can, so I did that on the mirror. See if we can get that out in the spring. I bet we get a lot of black shit out of these wheels. Actually not too bad without the uh, pressure nozzle on here, but I got soap in a bucket. I'm putting about 15 minutes in it, and it's gonna look better. It's gonna look a lot better. I, she's blue. Um, the rust definitely got worse over the winter. We'll walk around. We got this corner here. These bubbles are uh, obviously body corrosion. Doesn't look too bad right now when it's clean, but it certainly isn't getting better. This is the noticeable one. Yeah, interior's filthy, haven't touched it. That's gotten pretty bad. All the paint's flaked off and it's bright orange. Up here, all the E46s seem to have problems with the front lip of the rocker with that. This is the cracked bumper. And that happened, pretty minor. Nonetheless, it's cracked. Same deal on this side. That door seam has a little bit of discoloring, so that'll probably bust open one of these years. Um, aside from being filthy, that doesn't have any body corrosion. This part does, right there. And um, I don't know if I filmed that, but the paint's about to come off of that, so that's about to be bright orange. Can't wait for that. And um, nothing's too bad in the back. So when it warms up later this week, there's a day in the 50s or two, I'll take all these mats out, clean the mats, clean the carpeting, clean the door entry, that door panel's filthy and disgusting, we'll clean that. I'm not going crazy with it, but geez, it has never, I've never driven a car as dirty as this thing's gotten for the last couple months. Well, I've missed working in the garage and it's actually not cold at all out here to me. It's only 40, but it feels like summer compared to what it's been. Didn't dry the car at all. It's just kind of air dried partially. Looks pretty good though. As clean as it's been for a long time. I went to work on the inside actually. Um, cleaned all the mats out, cleaned the carpeting, cleaned the door entry, seats, center console, dashboard, uh, door panels, all of that is way better now. It was disgusting. I didn't even remember how this can clean up and actually look okay. Clean the pedals, the dead pedals, got some piece of tar on it. I'll work at that more later. Still got the rust obviously, but the rest of it came out pretty well. Did the back seat too, that wasn't nearly as bad. But it's just totally different now, night and day. Under the hood, I opened the hood, this was all covered in salt, so we cleaned the top of the engine, although I'm seeing not too well. Um, this thing's been missing, and crap, is this the wrong piece? No, it's the right piece. Uh-oh, let's not break it already. Does it go a certain way? It goes like that. There. So we got a new screw cap, because Dave Volter lost that. Topped the oil off, it was bitching about oil, so we've got fresh oil, or not fresh oil, but we've got uh, the correct quantity of oil. I topped off the coolant, that was a tiny bit low. I looked at the power steering fluid, it was black as night. Smelled like a toasted ass crack sandwich. So I took as much out as I could with a turkey baster and uh, filled it up with new Mobile One uh, synthetic ATF. So maybe I'll do that again in a couple weeks and then I'll have kind of a half ass. Power steering fluid flush. Check the brake fluid. What color is brake fluid supposed to be? It's at the fill line, but it's like dark brown. It looks nasty. I don't think it's supposed to be that color. So maybe I'll address that sometime. Washer fluid, I could top that. It's more than I'll need for this season. And yes, it has the electric fan conversion of Sam, you're noticing that. So uh, cleaner under here with some fresh fluids and all the levels are good. So that makes me feel better. Um, over here, just cleaned out the interior a little more. This side actually looks really good. Now uh, the carpet's a lot cleaner, the seat's a lot less used. It looks pretty clean. Same thing with the back. And I can't get the trunk to open because this stupid actuator is a piece of shit and I don't feel like pressing the button in the car, so we'll detail that at another time. Caps game starts in five minutes, so I'm gonna head in now. I watched the game, it's uh, almost 11 o'clock um, against the Phoenix Suns. I was thinking it was Orlando, it's Phoenix. Uh, we were up almost 40 points for a while. They did come back. They had a 23 to four scoring run, I think. They did really well for a while. We ended up winning by 12 or something like that. So uh, now we're tied to Chicago for uh, second place in the East. 
Anyways, I'm gonna show you something on the car real quick and why um, I'm aiming for tomorrow to install the new rear struts and spring, or shocks and springs, uh, depending on Kenan's availability. Alex was supposed to come over tonight. He's got stuff going on. So he's gonna come over tomorrow afternoon. We're gonna get that work done. If that happens in time and Kenan's available, tomorrow will be the DIY day. But I'm gonna put the camera down. I think this will work right here. Mm. I guess that'll function. And I want you guys to watch the back of this car. Okay. A BMW is not supposed to move eight inches in vertical height when you push on it. Let's do a similar test on the M5. All of you paint people are freaking out. This is a 3 Series, it doesn't matter. Um, that'll probably work. It doesn't move, and I don't want to push real hard on that spoiler. So I've spent the last half an hour trying to get the Apple TV to work. It's just airplay. Seems like it's only me that has problems of Apple TV is clearly connected to the network. I could go into movies, it would show me titles. Then you come over to an iPad or an iPhone, swipe up from the bottom, and it has no, no idea that, that there's an AirPlay, there's an Apple TV on the network to AirPlay to. Now it's working. I rebooted the router once, the Apple TV twice, and hard, hard rebooted the iPad twice. It is really the definition of hit and miss. And I, I don't know what the issue is. This stuff used to work so well. And every software update, I think, oh good, finally they've rewritten the code for this and it's gonna work, and it seems to be worse. Whoever isn't head of Apple software needs a new job. They should go to Dell. This is, this is Microsoft kind of quality here, or, or lack thereof. Anyways, it's one o'clock. I don't know why I'm not tired. I slept like three hours last night. I never sleep on Friday nights, uh, but I'm not. Put the 3.30 back outside. Um, ice in the driveway is still ridiculous, but this next week, um, let's see if I can use the iPad while it plays a song, and we'll see if that continues to function. I think my left thumb is enrolled. Um, go into the Weather Channel app, sign into the iTunes store, yeah, because I need iTunes for weather, and it closed the weather application. Try this again. iTunes, I'm not signing into iTunes, are you freaking kidding me? All right, I'll be back. Let me sign into iTunes so I can see what the temperature is. Pathetic is the word I'm going to use to describe how this works anymore, but here we go. It's 34, yeah, that's cold, it's above freezing, it's 50 degrees warmer than it was a month ago at this time or even two weeks ago. If we go to forecast, it's hard to use an iPad Air with one hand. 41, 45, look at this on Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are in the 50s. Cloudy, partly cloudy, and then mostly sunny. Ironically, the sun is still hidden by a huge cloud in the mostly sunny icon. Then we get rain Friday, next Saturday. Um, still 50 the following Monday. So, taste of spring. Definitely, these are, actually the 50s are pretty consistent with what March temperature should be. Let's go to a um, country map. Zoom out, I have it on temperature right now. That's always cool to look at this and see exactly where the air masses are. So, lots of blue. Starts to get a little warm. Obviously, Florida's got the Gulf Stream. Texas, warm. Uh, the desert's pretty warm. That's been pretty cold, actually. Phoenix has been blue a lot. San Diego, high deserts, cold, city and coastal areas are in the 60s or 70s up through, all the way up to Santa Barbara. So, looking forward to getting out there. If I go to a, an extended forecast, AccuWeather is good at that, or at least they think they are. See if I need an iTunes password for this. See how slow it is still? Come all the way down, I get there the 19th, 39. Okay, well that's Hudson. That's also Hudson. That's San Diego. 63. See, it cools down. It, the next two weeks are in the 70s and 80s. And then right when I get there, 63, 63, 63, 65, 65, 63, 65, 66. So, you know, it's 30 degrees warmer than here. Sun, pleasant. Clouds and breaks of sun, sunny and warm. So it looks like there's a couple cloudy days in there, but it's going to be a nice change of pace. And I very much look forward to that. So we've got a couple exams on the dock app between now and then. Um, accounting, that's gonna be horrible, and human resource management, that won't be bad. The essay next week, 
I'm starting to taste it though, and that's good. Um, normal Saturday, watch the game, work down the car. That's going to be it. So tomorrow, Sunday, Alex is coming over. Um, he said 12:30. Hopefully, he's fairly precise with that. Uh, we'll have that work done by 3:30, and then Kenan's coming over right then to work on the car. Um, time change is at 2 a.m. So. Did it already change? Because it's only saying it's... Oh, my mom already changed that clock. That's why it's 12, not 1. Effectively, it's 1, but we're moving ahead an hour. I don't know why they moved that up to uh, March now that we do that. I think it used to be April, but whatever. So I guess that means, what, more daylight in the afternoon and evening, which is good because that's when I'm up. Okay, I'm going up, I'm going to bed. We'll talk on Sunday.